and ready. No, I, I see that I was ready. Coming, but yeah. finally Hi, here. Tom's mom. Hi, Hi Tom's, Tom's mom. Hello, Tom's mom. The <laughs> mother of Tom. Don't I need worry, to go mom. put on some socks, wanna, actually. It won't go up for like two months. You, you've got one. Hey. Hmm? Last time you guys arrived in the desert city, Krakul, or Krakul Desert City, basically. Mm -hmm. On a bit of a sort of a info mission to find out more about Paul Kamodaj, who supposedly had been sighted nearby or some shit. Oh, yeah, and then Mac, had... uh, oh. Mac apparently lived there and he guided you towards some sort of tea shop slash uh, shisha bar where you guys uh, met Nicholas, the, the owner and proprietor. Very chill guy. He, uh, you guys talked a bit, had some tea, had some spice. And uh, he pointed you in the direction of a guy named Mean Eye Harold, supposedly uh, some sort of criminal gang leader of sorts that uh, that Mac has some ties with, or at least knows. And uh, you know, long story short, I guess that's what that was it. Yeah. So, yeah. Ma so, so Mac, how does a man of God like you get caught up in all this uh, criminal racket, then? Hey, I. I... I don't do criminal stuff. I'm a Not well known, well respected merchant here. Well, was at least. Merchant, wink, wink. Oi. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. This, this is what we aspects. do for a living, dude. It's a fucking desert. What do you think? It's not um, like we run around naked and catch scorpions for dinner. What? I mean, I, I personally think the fact that someone put a city in the desert is just poor planning. Personal, but that's my personal opinion. Hey, there's a lot of people living here. Okay. It's yeah, no. A... Yeah. I, I'm not. I'm not saying that they're idiots. I'm just saying it collectively, it was a bad choice. Well, I mean, yeah. Who knows? Perhaps. So, is there any do's and don'ts in the city, like waving at a guy riding a horse? Is that the do or the don't? <laughs> do they even have horses here? Yeah, Mac, what are the general ground rules of, uh, you know, conduct or be real conduct in this place? Don't they just um, like yeah. ride on chocobos or something this far? Don't, don't, don't steal from people, or at least don't get uh... caught stealing from people. Uh, oh, okay, that's right. Be, be I mindful. Look at, I look at our new friend when he says that. You mean this place has a strict set of law? <laughs> what uh, what happens when uh, you're caught stealing? Yeah. Well, you know, you might lose an arm or two, or at least your hand. Yeah. So, uh, I wiggle my missing finger. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm good. <laughs> yeah, just, just just like that. Other well, than that, there aren't like any strict rules. Just be mindful of people. Like, don't be a douche. Okay, so we're just it's like saying, on a sign when you enter the city, don't be a yeah. yeah. So what you're saying is like don't get caught doing it. Yeah, pretty much. Because uh, if that. you do get caught, I don't know you. I would like it to go on the record that when you said don't be a douche, I gave I gave our newcomer guy some side eyes, like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Just like one um well luckily for you, one of my uh, things let me look it up. Is um... denial. Uh, I got I got one of the flaws that um, you don't pay too much attention to the world around you. Okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah. This is gonna be interesting. Yeah. Also, but don't, dis don't disrespect uh, don't dis dis respect women. Got that? Yeah. You, you know that you know that that um, Asian like. Pen, spin, pen spinning thing that they do with like with like ballpoint pens. I do that with my wand, like just, mm. just idly just spinning my wand around my finger. I mean, you say don't disrespect women, but they are used as a trading commodity. Like as in, I'll uh, I'll buy your shop for my daughter. Sure, but but it's not like they then that. disrespect the women who are sold. They're treated very well. Oh, we're in that part of the world. <laughs> <laughs> um, Brian, I'd like to make a spot check, uh, and I'd like to spot how people are dressed here. All right, you do that. 
That means you don't really need to spot check for that. You can just see. No, 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 no. <laughs> the man wants to roll dice, let him fail. Thank you. <laughs> give me a second. I'll, I want to give you a good example. Real quick, Ro, shouldn't you like ping the entirety of the Stonehaven crew since the game started? Who <laughs> wants to fucking use? <laughs> I mean, they should know by now after three I mean, years. You ping, you ping them to tell them that was a game today, so that's an be. alarm isn't a bad idea. Oh, yeah. Maynard said if he doesn't show up, he has passed out. So, and Maynard's team yeah. is going to be late as well. Just laid his head on the pillow like four or five hours ago. Yeah, Sasha's not gonna show up because no internet and uh, what else? That's it. Eris All right, he's gone. What did you rule, Buzz? Twenty-five. All right. Look, this is. I'm gonna post it in general chat because it's. Oh fuck it, I'll post it in the. What? Well, you have a fourteen spot check. That's insane. Oh, Thank you. Oh wait, I have an owl. It's uh actually twenty-eight. If you click on that image, you can see the general attire worn by, uh, well, people just walking around, just minus the horse and the spear. <clears throat> Some are wearing scimitars on their uh, belts, though. They really like open chest vests here. <laughs> uh, you also see... Where like, did you post, Brian? Uh, in Roll20. It's like Prince of Persia or something. Yeah, imagine like face veils oh, right. on people and things like that. Long robes. Oh, all right, yeah, 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 yeah. The the, the classic uh, Arab warrior. What's the what's the commands to make it a thing? You can just uh, uh, post it now, paste it. All right, Brian. Um, without there's a script write? for it. Yeah. Brian, without is the, there a possibility the for me to dye my hair black? Uh, yeah, just make the the sky self check. Yeah. Oh yeah. Discord. Oh, you can just do it. <laughs> this All is right. just an example. <laughs> oh, I got it. Uh, but Brian, first I'd like to buy um, from a shop uh, some attire and a scimitar. All right. Uh, yeah, there's plenty of shops nearby. You, I assume eventually you guys head out to. Uh... Yeah, just just All tell right. me how much. Just tell me how much gold is gonna cost. Uh. Mm, I'd say it wouldn't really cost gold. Uh, about uh, five silver for some simple outfit, and uh, oh, I suppose a gold piece for the scimitar. It's pretty crappy shape, but yeah. yeah all right, I'll just uh, detract uh, two golds. I'll, sure. I'll, I'll tip the people. Sure. You guys head out to um, meet Minai Herald, or what? What are you guys going to do? Um, I'm gonna disguise myself as one of the locals. I follow the dwarf. Our, our party leader is missing, so... <laughs> Dara, you're the, you're the leader now. <laughs> I, I, I would be lying if I said I knew what we were doing here. Okay, so well, we, we need to meet whole... up with uh, me and I, Harold, if we want more information. Well, if we possibly need more information of the guy. That we're looking for. Wait, and let's one? go. Hey, Mano. Oh, we're looking for one of the um, ancient heroes, yes. isn't it? I, I, mm -hmm. I, I can't even spell his name. So. Oh, oh I'm a dog. Right, which, which one is this? Because we found the. It's dog. the dog looking wizard dude. The giant, ah. the uh, bipedal dog. And oh, the dog. Brian? Right. Yeah. Um, I'd yeah, like sure. to disguise myself. Yeah, go ahead and roll, dude. I was waiting for your roll. Oh, excuse me. And the uh, disguise kit is plus two? Yep. <sighs> yeah. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Mark, you, you know where we're going. I'll follow you. Yeah. Look at Ors. He's spelling it out for you. It takes a while, though. Paul Kamodaj. Okay. Fred, you look indistinguishable from the locals. Sweet. You guys lose sight of Fred for a second, do you realize he's standing right there? 
<laughs> Does he have a mustache? I don't know, Lago. Do you have like a face veil or what? Like a you know face wrap, Fred? Yeah, I've got a I've got a cloth in front of my face. All right, he, yeah. So you guys move through the city alongside one of the crater walls further down, making your way to the uh, the darker areas of the city. You immediately notice that there are less shops around here, more people dressed in poor clothing, quite dirty. You see some uh, some kids running around. Uh, front one is holding a piece of bread. And I um, I uh, walk next to uh, Mac and ask him, um, so you need to find someone, right? <laughs> yes, yes, we need to find someone. I'm pretty sure I know where to find that guy. Indeed, Manasina. Do you, do you want a scout ahead of you? <laughs> sure, please do. All right, I'm pretty good at that, actually. All right, you uh, walk further ahead of, uh, of them. You stand out a little bit because you're dressed more for the upper tiers at this point, looking, uh, looking around. Uh, you see some people just looking at you and some of them are holding up their hands towards you as you pass them by. Um, I, I throw around some coppers. Throw on some coppers and soon you're swarmed by kids. Who no, 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 no. Behind me. I'm not stupid. <laughs> all right, all right. Still, though, they try to follow you as soon as all the coppers are picked up. Depends on how many uh, you throw down there, though. All right. Um, and I try to... Um, what do I know of the person we're looking for, by the way? Uh, what you've heard from Ariador, his old friend, is kind of like a, a dog-shaped person. Ariador himself is not even sure what race he is. They never really discussed it. Uh, right. However, he is a very powerful uh, kind of wizard who can pretty much be wherever he wants to be at any point in time. So actually finding him will be hard. But usually, if he's spotted around somewhere, he tends to hang around there for a bit for whatever reason he has. Oh, that's perfect, because I was just about to gather some information. Also, yeah, I mean, that's what you already knew from Ariado himself. Yeah, but, but I, I mean from the from the people around me. Oh, okay. Roll a gather information check. I just did. Yeah. It was, was your 30 uh, gather information? Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, sweet. All right. Um, Guys, I'm useful. Yeah, the, I mean, the best info you get right now is to go meet uh, Mean Eye Harold. He probably knows. They they, ha they haven't never heard of the name Paul Camo Dodge, these guys. Ah, uh, yeah, fair enough. But uh, they're more than willing to escort you for a price. What's the price? <laughs> one of them says, 10 gold. The other one says, no, man, that's way too high. Like, one gold. And then, you know, the price sort of goes down until it's only a few copper. Well, I just threw them. Okay, I'll give them a, a couple of coppers for the escort, I suppose. Uh, you're basically escorted by a group of 10 children. <laughs> Would be hilarious if we get there before he does. <laughs> <laughs> He's already ahead. He's now sort of being dragged along by these kids, like pushing them. They're also, uh, I would like you to make a spot check. It would be funny if they stole all your shit. It'd be funny if they fucking like shanked some of the knowledge. <laughs> uh, roll, me, roll me two more, please. Never, never thought he'd have a way for, with kids. Oh my fucking She'd god. I, I didn't take him for the uh, crayon toucher type. All right, all right. You, well, you don't know me yet, son. You notice uh, a bunch of hands going into your pockets, these children's hands. Oh, yeah, well, I'm, I'm a big pocket and I'm a thief. I, I recognize that shit. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll slap them away. <laughs> all right. Like, ow, ow, ow. It's just like endless. You guys are like pickpocketing each other's pocket like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah whilst this is going on i'm trying to pickpocket them as well oh, all right. so, <laughs> so like every money i lose i pickpocket from another kid and he's like yeah. a perfect role model for them yeah yeah yeah, yeah. they love me uh, i would like to whistle now what well, uh, 
I don't Go ahead. Roll your you sleight of hand. Oh, should I roll sleight of hand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, fine. It's just like, you are already broke. <laughs> they, uh, the first one you try to pickpocket, he scurries away just, just in time. He giggles. You should I roll again? Yeah, if you want. Yeah. Oh yeah, you you got some copper back. This this, this 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 kid was carrying two copper. He didn't notice. Wow. Well, he doesn't anymore. <laughs> <laughs> some of the other kids did definitely see, uh, see that, and they giggle. Well, I like this town. Can we <laughs> stay here for, for like forever? Eventually, Are you talking uh, to yourself. <laughs> eventually, Fred. I you am. Know, yeah. You're pulled into a, a better lit area, and uh, the sound of some, uh, yeah, like typical bizarre music, uh, is meeting you. But you are led into an area where you see a bunch of camels and troughs and uh, a bunch of big tents, uh, and one particular nicely built house, uh, like across from you, with a fountain in front of it. Uh, you see a bunch of people moving around here. They're definitely better dressed than the. Uh, the neighborhood you just walked through and uh, they all appear to be wearing face veils and doing their own stuff the kids uh, like well we're here Do and I they hold up their, <laughs> all of them hold up their hands <laughs> um it's 15 kids at this point well well shit well they deserved it i give them one copper each <laughs> wow <laughs> they're really cheap all right, roll me, uh, roll me three more spot checks as you hand out the cup. Uh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow! Oh wow! All right, that, yeah, that you, you, you notice, you did notice some uh, some kid doing that, and that's wow! You rolled three sixes in a row. Yeah, apparently. Number of the beast. Yeah, boy. All right. Welcome to your new party member. Later on, you realize they stole back three copper from you. <laughs> oh, fucking little shit. <laughs> one, one in the natural And, and Brian, um, uh, the guards um, of the people in the compound, do I blend in? Uh, well, you do look a little bit more in your place here, but you're still standing out a little bit because most of the guys you see just wear simple black robes and a black face mask they kind of look similar to each other wow that's racist man so in that, <laughs> case, in that case you do <laughs> you you would not look like these guys but more in your place anyway than in the area before now as you um as you arrive at your destination i want to go jump back to the rest of the group yep <clears throat> he eventually disappears around the corner somewhere <laughs> Fred, that is. So, do you think he's touching the kids or the kids touching him? Both. <laughs> Let's just follow our dwarf friend. Yeah, no, I, I, he can take care of himself. Yeah, he'll he'll figure out where we are, probably. Okay. What well, what's the worst case scenario? He becomes master of orphan. Oh shit, that was kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you mean? <laughs> Anyway, all right, uh, lead on, fucking Mac, dude. I lead on, <laughs> fucking hell. Yeah. In the meantime, I'm gonna whistle, whistle. <laughs> I uh, I know that all the people that I happen to know. What we? You sorry? Them. You greet all the people you happen to know? Sure. I said not, right, but yeah, that's, that's the same. You happen also to know that in uh, this district. People don't tend to live very long. There's a lot of people moving in and out, mostly out by being a corpse and in by just being poor. Uh, as such, you wouldn't know anyone living there at this point. You do. Yeah, you mean eventually I'm think you see uh, an old guy that looks a bit familiar, but you're not sure. How long has it been since he was last here? You do. Uh, you, you ask him. 
Matt, how long, has, well, how long has it been since you were last here? I would like to say at least two years. <laughs> Just everyone you know that died in the Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were gonna say like four years, like oh some. <laughs> Bro, what do you mean everyone he knows is <laughs> that, That's a very short type period of time, bro. Right? Come play? on. <laughs> oh, it's good to why, be home. Why did they die? I, I'm curious. <laughs> <laughs> I actually did not expect a two year answer there either. Uh, well, I, I was here last month. Yeah. Okay, I two don't weeks. recognize anyone anymore. Two weeks max. You only kill yourself when you get killed. What is Jesus you know? rampant in this I'm leaving Lid Leave. No, man. <laughs> Welcome back to the hood, sound. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Uh, uh, I'll carry on. Fucking get out. Idiot. Two, two years. Get the fuck out. Alright. Uh. You mean he can't holler at his homeboy, Jamil? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Khalid. Yeah, yeah. And he tells me, <laughs> he tells me, um, last weekend was the first weekend in 10 years when there w were no stabbings. Oh. Fascinating. <laughs> Well, according to your story, within the last two years, the star the star beans have gone up three hundred percent. All right, no. it's, it's, it's like some uh, some uh, Detroit suburb. Yeah, fucking Chicago time is ten. <laughs> I, I I reckon for a moment we forget about like the obvious holes in this story um, i know but it's funny all right okay um carry on. So we, get, we get to the um wherever uh darky is leading us yeah hmm? you guys also make your way through the same streets that fred is being pulled through um, um, just... i wonder where all the kids are yeah the kids are not bothering uh, i took all. care of them they're probably um, molesting fred you, you still see people along the road sitting and holding up their hands as you pass by none of them dare really approach uh, you guys you look you look Weird. Also, Brian, I'm I wearing know. a scimitar right now. Yes, you are. Yes, just to be clear. Uh, yeah, no, if you guys uh, just walk along, then eventually you also reach that same bazaar that uh, Fred now had some time to, I don't know, explore a little bit before you arrive. Mm -hmm. He's not that far ahead, though. No, and you can probably see an owl circling around as well. And his um, name is... <laughs> In before John. someone someone shoots it down. Dinner, yeah. dinner. <laughs> Meat. Yeah. Nah, it's a very beefy looking owl. You wouldn't like <laughs> it. And there's definitely hungry people eyeing that owl. Right. Yeah, you can you can like like in a dance match. You can just see their eyes circling around. You know, like uh, this kids with slingshots on the roof. <laughs> yeah. I I snap my fingers to cast detect magic. Um, Finley, I guess, is sharing the detect magic eyes. He pokes he pokes out from out like under my hat, and I would like to, as we're walking through the bazaar, just look left and right and just scan for any magic. Holy shit! Right. That's a lot of ninjas. I can't see anything. <laughs> that, that is a lot of ninjas. <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, what the fuck? Why is my health at 48? Uh, probably because the thing was not uh, added yeah. to your sheet thing. Yeah. Is, is uh, it not updated? It's not, like, um, linked. Uh, it should be. Wait, yeah, well, yeah. But, um, yeah, I've, as I said, I've moved all my shit onto my character sheet now, so... Alright. So Fred, you had a little bit of time to look around, and uh, yeah. well, that's pretty much what you see. Everyone's just pretty busy with what they're doing. Some guys stand guard in front of tents and whatnot. Uh, yeah, building up tops, the most fancy looking one. Um, Fred has no name. Why, not? Why does Fred have no name? Oh, I see. So Safe changes. Did Fred find out where Harold is located? 
Uh, yeah, he, uh, I don't know if you asked around. Did you ask around, Brad? I didn't get her information for 30. Yeah, but that yeah, was that's good. yeah, let's say that's that good enough. Earlier. You continued your investment. Yeah, that was earlier. I should roll for that again, to be honest. You just approach the first guy you see, hey, you know about uh, me and I, Harold. And hey, just... guy, have you heard about this guy? He, he, he just points towards the house that you see in the far end behind the fountain. <laughs> that was easy. Okay, and and I like very obviously not to my party members like thumbs up. <laughs> Wait, I, I, I'm just pondering what that is supposed to mean. <laughs> yeah. uh, you see that uh, the guys standing guard, however, are carrying shields and spears. Well, and I just got a scimitar. Oh. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, I would like my does any does my magic detect magic pick anything up as I'm just scanning through as I'm walking. Uh, as you're scanning through here, and uh, you get a vague presence from where you're standing from the tent in the top left, uh, the tent. green and yellow one. Oh, okay. Uh, I'd like to I'd like to send Finley just to peek under that tent. All right, uh, Finley scurries his way over there and slips under uh, under the tent flap. Mm -hmm. uh, eventually, he comes back, climbs up on your shoulder, and uh, tweaks in your ear in his language that only you can understand. Well, um, I mean, you, you gave him a voice at some point. Like, yeah, I don't remember. It's... No, you were like, you're right, boss. <laughs> you got like, 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 like an also like, hey, boss. Hey, boss. Hey, All right, so. Uh, we got ourselves uh, some little shop over there. Looks like. <laughs> and you had, you had them. Did anything in there look magical? Because Finley also had to detect magic in his eyes. Yeah, man, the place lit up, dude. Nice. Look, if you're gonna shop, I'm gonna quit right here right now. Well, I'm not. We're not. I'm not going to shop. I'm not okay. going. No, I, we're I, not I, here I, to shop. We're here. Here to. We're not blunder. here to shop. I'm going to scope out. The magic item vendor because they are generally quite shitty. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Wait, how tall is Mac again? Didn't I'm not he sure. shrink? It's also called a camel. Yeah. Uh, Mac is diminutive. Uh, no, tiny, and he tiny. is looked at strangely by. Uh, well, you guys are in general just being watched I by. Uh, I'm also yeah, riding a pig, so. It's Mac, probably... please return to normal size. No, I cannot. <laughs> Why, wow. hey, Brian? <laughs> yeah. Am I being watched? Um, less so than the rest of the party, who stand out a bit more than you. Okay. Um, I'm gonna talk to this guard. <laughs> uh, all right. You see that he's busy with another guy inspecting a, a load of weapons, and as soon as you approach, though, they grab their spears and tell you to back off. What? Seriously? Yeah. Seriously. Why? We're busy, we're working. Yeah, but I'm clearly one of you. <laughs> <laughs> Best excuse ever. That has uh, to be some sort of check to go with that, like what he's just said. They pretty much I, just I, glare I think, at you and wait for you to move away. Well, I, I think I'm allowed a bluff check. Sure. I guess while this is happening, I ask Mac what is to be expected when we meet the dude. Um, they still glare at you. <laughs> yeah, fine. I, I'll accept my defeat. You, um, you're going to be meeting a very short, blonde dwarf who has a very bad. Um, well, he's very temperamental. So, um, what's your what's your tone with him? He's uh, he's a bit self-conscious about his height. Okay, then call him little. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> I kick you on the on the leg. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm not I'm not saying. That does a death sentence, but if you do end up in trouble, I am not fishing your ass out of that fire. 
Just saying. <laughs> so where did they did they just say he was in again? These big house? Where I'm the going. house of the north. You see two guys standing in front of the door. They're wearing a bit better equipment. <clears throat> and the door, uh, well, it's not really a door. It's more of a curtain. They look at you guys and, you know, cross their spears together and ask your business. Oh, Greetings, no. ninjas. <laughs> uh, I think we should let me do the talking. Or, I mean... Please do. Yes. yes. It would be better yeah. if you do it. Unless they uh, recognize right, me. We have, we, have, um, we have business with the proprietor of this establishment. You have business with me and I, Harold. Yes, we do. Is that a problem, <coughs> Mr. Gardner? I didn't realize your, part of your job was his bit of, was taking his business. I didn't realize I had to communicate it to door guards. What are you? <laughs> he, now, he says something. Oh, would you like me to communicate to him that his guards are hampering business coming and going? We do not have time for this. Wow, uh, I would say roll a charisma check for that i know it's not really intimidation is it I, i've got intimidation i can do intimidation yeah sure do it yeah. and you seem pretty important well with the entourage uh, you have did, did that get whispered to you yeah it's there sorry uh I've, it, the intimidation check is there it was whispered yeah, yeah i see it yeah <clears throat> yeah no he he thinks you're uh, important enough and there's another guy that comes out and he says something to him in a harsh, harsh tone. He disappears back inside. Uh, and they both uh, remove their spears for you guys to enter through. Thank you. Sweet. Huh. I'm talking. I guess I thank the ninjas and give them uh, that silver each for shits and giggles. <laughs> thank you, ninjas. Wow, he sure is a good looking fella, isn't he? They want to spit at you, but they're wearing face veils. Yeah. Ah, uh, so am I. <laughs> is, is there, right. Are there, like, tables and chairs and shit? Uh, well, know? yes. Uh, he is actually sitting behind the table uh, with some chairs in front of it. There's also a bench there in where Horace is standing. Uh, yeah, further, like there's, there's a few crates and barrels stacked in the room here and there, and you see uh, four guards standing in each corner already. Yeah, right. I would like to grab one of the chairs, like spin it backwards, you know, like, and then sit on it with like my arms, <laughs> like, the back of it. Cool. Good afternoon, Harold. <laughs> now I'm presenting. He looks at you. All right, you have a pretty nice, uh, nice little tongue there, talking your way in here. It, it wasn't the hardest. The, your guards out front are pussies. You should pay them more. It looks behind you and sort of ignores you. Is that you, Mac? I wave at him. Hello. It's been what a while. What the hell happened to you, man? Oh, man, they didn't feed me, dude. I would like to pluck him off. I, I'm guessing Horace's shoulder? No, he's on a pig. A flaming pig. Yeah. I would like to pluck him off the pig and put him on the table. <laughs> <laughs> you do that. He starts laughing heartily. <laughs> oh man! Look at you! You're so small! I know, so are you. At this point, his entire mood changes. <laughs> he throws his eyebrow and sort of snarls at you. I was ah. I was in the middle of taking a sip of wine when that happened. So <laughs> something is real. <laughs> ah, don't be like that, dude. We go way back. <coughs> I see you got rid then... of your your beautiful beard. What's what's going now on? Now, as I remember, you still owe me something, Mac, for that shit you pulled back then before you disappeared. What? You you sure you wanna go with this route? Do you want me to send you on another plane again? Mm. You know, that's pretty bad for business. There's this mm. vein on his forehead that pops up. Jesus Christ, gentlemen. Gentlemen. We've got bigger fish to fry here, okay? So, Mark, I would per I would happily advise that you stop antagonizing our gracious host here. 
Well, the he's ma- right. The magnanimous, larger than life, Mr. Harold. You should listen to the poofy head over there. I, make us, I, make us I, I, turn, I turn my back to Harold and giggle silently and nod at Dara and then jump off the table. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. We hear that you dabble in... Look, look, look. This ain't how this works. You introduce yourselves first. Oh, sorry. My name is Dara O'Shaughnessy. All right. Mr. The... Dara, who are your compatriots over there? Who's the elf in the corner? Hey, Brian, uh, hold on to my Boris. introduction because I need to take a piss, yeah? All right. Yeah. Boris, would you like to introduce yourself? I'm not an elf. I'm a human. Oh, yeah. Totally uh, human. My name is uh, Sir Gilmore of Rodder. Oh, did, did he like Photoshop the picture to take the elf here or something? <laughs> <laughs> Looks beautiful. Sorry, what was your, what, what'd you, what would you to introduce yourself as? Gilmore of Rodder. You what? Gilmore of Rodder. Alright. He raises one eyebrow. Right. Joker, eh? Alright. What about the, uh, the burly woman over there? Oh, I mean, is there a woman? Um. Wow. I, <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen her with all her armor. She sounds like a woman. <laughs> she, she has her armor. I, I assume she takes her helmet off sometimes. I don't think so. It's like Goblin Slayer? Ah, alright. Alright. I, I thought she was full on Goblin Slayer for a while. <laughs> can, you, can you describe to us your face? Because it's been so long. Alright. I mean, there's they're so long and there's a. We've never seen her face before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay, wait. Alive. No, she, she used to. She used to look like the glaive warrior from. Um, oh yeah, Darker Dungeon. Dungeon. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of like the Amazonian look. Angry. Like just yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> right. I'm back. I'm back. By the way. Yeah. This Come is back. Manastina, and this is the latest. Uh, addition to our little merry band. Fred, would you like to tell him a couple of things about yourself? Give, give us a fun fact. Come on. Um, well, I have to agree with Mac. He is kind of tiny. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what did he just say? You're a little short. That's that nothing wrong with that. Time is best spent on business. He has a weird I... accent. It's very stupid. He uh, he stands up from uh, from his chair and you can now see that he's we're wearing sort of stilts. Oh, Jesus. Oh, <laughs> whatever makes you happy, mate. And he reaches uh, he reaches about the same height as Fred, I guess. What did mm. you just call me? <laughs> I I tried to read the room and say Please not in front of the you, video. You're you're pretty taller than I expected when you were sitting down. So you're pretty tall after all. He uh, he starts he, he starts grinning that stupid smile you see there on his picture. Yeah, yeah. It's what I thought. And he sits back yeah. down. Well, thank you. All right, now so what can you. I do for you fellas? Found this place must mean you want something, isn't that right? Uh, just just a bit of information, and we'll be right over here. Hey, have, information yeah. is what makes the world go round. All right, sorry to interrupt. You. Continue. No, 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 it's perfect. It's 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 your it's your home. You can do whatever the fuck you want. All right, we're looking for a certain uh, extremely powerful mage. His name. You're not is... wrong, you know. Yeah. It is my house. I can't interrupt you. Ah, no, sorry. Go on. <laughs> His name is Kadama Dodge. But the what now? I say Paul Camadage. Paul in a very loud Oh, booming. it has a mouth. All right. Yeah. Paul Camadage. The name have sounds. Heard, right. Have you ever heard of him? Sound vaguely familiar. I don't know. What's his face? What's he do? Well, he looks a bit of a like. He looks a bit like a dog. To be a fair. A dog. I, yes, like a dog. A fucking like, dog. He's a shape. Yes. Changeling? Shapeshifter? He's a, he's a shape changer. And he's extremely powerful. And 
we have been tasked with finding him. Oh, I think I remember. Wasn't he one of them old heroes or some shit? Yes. Right, mm-hmm. right. Yeah, we're 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 on a quest to um, to gather such heroes. Right. How very interesting. All right, I might know a few tidbits here and there, but what do you offer in exchange? Um, I say hmm. we can make you taller. Oh, hey. Is that another pun about my height? No, I, yeah, I mean yeah, we can was. make you. Why, if you I, I, I stop right. Horus. I stop Horus. Wait outside. No, 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 Wait no, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. I, I, um, I <laughs> intervene here. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, I have this spell called Enlarged Person. You know, I, I could. Hey, no one ask you, Tiny Mac. I hear that man of uh, uh, man of what now? I some said something about rare stuff. What uh, you have in mind? What's yes, this rare mana. stuff you're going about? Yes, man. What stuff are you talking about? You know, before she does whatever she does, I sent my steward number seven right here. He's invisible. <laughs> okay. Okay. Are we gonna kill him this time? No. Then? No. Uh, <laughs> I do not want to fight this many ninjas. <laughs> <laughs> ah, don't worry about it. Like, I, I'm just saying the amount of ninjas in this room is, is a bit excessive for my liking. <laughs> <laughs> like, if there's only about like, three ninjas, I think we could take them, but four whole ninjas, I... Yeah, I but you know they're not actually ninjas, right? They're desert ninjas. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know if that makes it better or worse. <laughs> <laughs> they can blend into the sand. Yeah. Oh my god, are we, are we in Tsunagakure right now? <laughs> yeah. Fucking... What's TML? the L very cold again? TML. Thank you. Yummy. Too much info? Too much. <laughs> Yeah, who cares? Just call it, just, we'll just call it TT for the time there. TT? Ta 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 ta? TT. Oh god. Call off a huge human <laughs> just randomly in between. Choker tentacle parts and a spiky tentacle vein. So, so what you're saying is that you take your bag of shit and you just drop it on the yeah. table. <laughs> you, know, uh, you, should, you know, you I could probably to... sell those to Ian. He's, uh, he's yeah, he's uh, he goes like, um, hmm, uh, well, I don't think I need much of that, except for this little bottle over here. Now, what might this be here? Let's see now. Oh, well, I still do. Oh, I guess I can give you a little bit of information for this here but bottle you got over there. Yeah. Alright. Really? I mean, just, I mean, not everything, of course. Uh, you know, you gotta cough, gotta cough up a bit more than that. I pull out a weird looking underwear and I tell him it's the underwear of the great TML of the heroes of old or whatever oh, and it grants you magical right. wishes. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Yeah, let, why, him, why let, him, we... let him do his shit. Let him hey, do his... hey, hey. We're not in that part of the world over here, all right? Put that shit away. <laughs> Did you it still can... have panties? No, it was no, Wolf was gonna Ram's bluff. items. <laughs> and yes, I was gonna bluff. But oh. I guess he doesn't <laughs> want it. <laughs> all right, now, for this wine, i tell you one thing, right? Last time, uh, some guy supposedly saw him, he was up the river, uh, just north of the city, not far from where you guys uh, put down your ship. Yeah, I know you got an airship, that's right. What are you gonna do about it? What uh, you gonna put, do about it? I, I put I put 10 platinum pieces on the table. Any more specific? Oh, wait, yo, you carrying plat now? Yeah. Any more specific than that? Well, I say money always makes the world go round, but nothing ain't more important than, uh, you know, the info's going around. So, how about you tell me something I don't know? 
the world's about to end. <laughs> yeah. tell, tell him the world is about to end and it's really bad for business. <laughs> yeah, like... Hey, uh, Mac, what's this guy on about? Well... Do you happen to know of a guy named Hero Lockovio? No, I never heard of the kid. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, you know the stories of old and the heroes of old. You know those heroes? The the enemy they were fighting was Hero, and he's back. Wait a second. So the heroes were fighting a hero? Oh yes. Well, not, Confusing, not a hero. Isn't it? Hero. Hero. A hero. A hero. Just just call him Big Cultist Douche. He's a cultist. Big cultist elf douche. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You know, elves. And I spit no. on a crown. I tried to avoid elves. Yeah. I know. Basically, what's going on is, uh, yeah, no, um, there's a band of cultists around and they're trying to bring about the end of the world. So yeah, that's a, that's a fun fact. You're shitting me now, right? No. No. Yeah, he, he like really looks you up and down, tries to peer you in the eye. You know, it's he rolls sense his sense motive. motive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does it look like you're bullshitting me? No, I, I couldn't. I couldn't be less. I, I couldn't be fucking more uh, sincere about this. The world is literally about to end. So that's the oh, whole. It's a bit of a bummer. You gotta like, say. Oh well. Dust past the rock. I'm not really sure how to react to it. And yeah. we also, I've heard my party say they they also release a dragon. Oh yeah, well, there, there was a dragon. Well, you oh, can react to it by maybe helping here. us. A few days ago, the dragon flew over. That's true. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Uh, well, that, that's that's a that's a tidbit of information for you. Yeah, they did that. Right, right. Well, some say right that there is some sort of uh, some sort of a uh, secret way into some ruins or some shit near uh, near the foot of the mountains. If you follow up the river. Oh, huh. possible your friend might be hiding out there, but gotta warn you though, no one's ever found the place. Of course, there's been plenty of people who tried. <laughs> I no might have just the right the spell for that. No worries. If no one ever found the place, how is it known? Oh, it's old legends and rumors, you know, we got a ton of those around here. Like secret temples, runes that go to another world. Magical genies popping out of the lamps when you rub them. What can I say? Well, you can say a lot more than that. Oh, okay, that's uh, well, that's fantastic. We've done our, we've done our thing. I put, I put, our, uh, I put a ten, uh, another ten parts and I'm on the table just as a sign of goodwill. Well then, that was actually a pleasure doing business with you, fella. Feel free to uh, look around here. Got some of the best merchandise. You won't find somewhere else, all right? Ooh. Oh, thank, thank you very much. Do you sell it right. yourself or just kind of run the bazaar? Hey, that's my business, not yours. Okay. <laughs> All right, keep your secrets. <laughs> <laughs> I, I give him the Frodo look and I leave. <laughs> All right, guys, we got, we got our clue. Yeah, I uh, leave Stuart behind and um, he's going to be trying to steal. Does he have a keychain? Does Harold have a keychain? Uh, yeah, you assume so. I mean, it's not really out in the open, though. Yeah, but Thank with you. good enough sleight of hand, I I bet I can get it, right? Oh, you need sleight of hand? Shh. I mean, do you need sleight of hand? Later. The guard whispers back, do you need sleight of hand? No, 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 no I'm no. good, thank you. We need spice. We need no, spice. no, no, no. <laughs> we... I know, know guy. Don't don't tell your boss, but we're trying to steal a key off him. <coughs> oh, okay. Wait, what? <laughs> no, we're just kidding. We're just kidding. Let's go. Ah, <coughs> gotcha. Okay, okay, Mac, come here. No, we we leave the house first, okay? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Follow, also, follow me. I would like to say, Mano, I think I think you're well kitted enough. Yeah. Um, Fred and I, we okay, go to Mac. a place where. There's no eavesdropping uh, guards. Uh, Manastina, you uh, 
Yeah, he points you towards the, the green and yellow tent that Dara saw earlier that he's still going to as well. Yeah, there's magic items on there. Alright, as you guys uh, pop into the tent, Fred and Mac, what are you scheming? Okay. What well, screaming? Okay. I, have this, I have this idea, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, 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 dumb. So, Stuart is there, and we'll wait for yeah. the night, so we'll wait for Harold to go to sleep, and then we'll steal yeah, all fair his enough. shit. I yeah, would that's like very... to, I would like, I would personally like to veto this plan. You're not here, go away. Shh, shoo. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't let off. you guys walk off just together. <laughs> First off. Um, hey, hey Mac, are you, Mac, are you hearing that? No. Because no, I, I kind of hear a voice of someone who is not even here. Yeah, Where is some sort of buzzing like this. I will, I will make a listen check if I have to. Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they're whispering, dude, and there's, uh, there's stuff going on around you. I don't know where are they. I wouldn't let them. Them sneaking off together. It's, it's fine. If you big. can talk us That's out fine. of it, then please do. Yeah, I'll, I'll let yeah. you give it a chance. Let's say you guys are sort of like walking around, you know, going around the fountain towards the camels, where there's not many people around. You guys, right. uh, you you see that before you pop your head into the tent, door that they're sort of harshing together and like. Bah, bah, bah. Okay, I would like to make my incredible listen check. <laughs> All right, but it's going to be okay. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you, man. You hear something about sleight of hand or pickpocket or keychain. And sleep. Oh, did you whisper rolls or something? Yeah. Uh, the, the uh, okay. It, okay, I was really confused for a bit. Yeah, no, I, I, I kind of, I kind of like shamble on over like, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we talking about here, guys? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Yes. Okay. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? Here's the plan. Here's the plan. Isn't it a lovely weather today? No, it's fine. We can let we can let him into in this. Ah no, he's a fucking narc, isn't he? We we don't know. Because it sounds like you guys are up to something shady. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we were gonna wait for the night. No, I, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I can't beat his right, sense motive. Right. I can't. I have minus one blood. All right, all right, <laughs> all right, all right. I mean, um, um, what we were really talking about, like Mac, is kind of insecure because he had small penis and now it seems smaller. What? And that that's what we're talking about, right, Mac? I don't say anything. I'm just looking I at know. you like with really I, weird. I, eyes. I, he, He's, he's just been, really, he, he's just playing, really embarrassed about it. I have been playing music for the last every day of my life. I I could hear a pin drop in the next fucking city. You didn't think I heard part of what you just fucking said, huh? You know, let's let's not wear out our fucking welcome here, please. No, that We've was got the plan. We wait for the night right. until we're gone, and then we do it. I would like to use like my fingers to like like touch his face like Mac. All right. Yes. Don't. <laughs> He's a dick. I don't doubt that. Then why are you stopping us? Yeah. Are you with him? Yeah. Because it's a. B I don't want to draw heat to us in this random. Do we really want? like random <laughs> trouble when we're trying that we have to kill Colton <laughs> no 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 but I, I don't think you quite understand it makes a good point doing. yeah yeah I no, yeah, no. what just... is wrong with you guys <laughs> nothing's wrong with us no 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 but you missed the point at this like... point a bunch of uh, people around you start looking at Dara's open display of frustration <laughs> <laughs> stop giving us away Stop saying shit! Okay, since since you are now the leader, because Maynard's not here, we'll just listen to you this one time. What? Thank you. No, 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 no. I'll, oh, no, oh, you can right. do what you want, but I'll do. I'll I'll stop. I'll call okay. my steward back to me. Uh, I I understand what you're saying. Wink. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I will say because I have a plus zero to sense motive. 
Thank you. <laughs> no. Yeah. So what we're totally not going to do is like steal from him. Isn't that right, Mac? Right. Wink. No, I, I sense motive. <laughs> okay. Roll your <laughs> bluff for shits and giggles. Wink. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm totally oblivious. And I I um think that you're you're going to stop your plans. I say thank you. Now I'm gonna pop into this like this magic bit tent, see if there's anything useful. Two second it will be a two second trip. I'm not looking for anything crazy. We'll meet back up have we got a tavern going? We'll meet back up to the drug the drug dealer's place. Oh. The drug dealer's place. There is no drug dealing here. What are you talking about? He's talking about the tea shop with Nicholas. I know, I know, I know, but I'm I'm being a... Uh... Oh, but... Well, if that's the case, can we go to the uh, spice shop now when I wink at Mac? I um, mentioned to Manestina, or is she inside the tent already? Manestina is going, well, I guess she's going inside the tent hmm. at this point. Okay, well, whenever I get the chance, I tell Manestina about uh, a shop where she she might be able to get rid of all that weird stuff she's carrying. Mm. In the meantime, I'm just gonna ask if this person has any wands. Uh, you see a few sticks there. Are they any good? Like, what are they? I ask what they are. Way to put me on spot, dude. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you set up a magical shop here. There mu you must have some kind of inventory in it, knowing <laughs> our party. I, re I refuse to believe that you didn't set up at least a small list, considering how like shopaholic these people are. I would like to are. claim that most of that stuff is stolen. So, Brian, yeah, uh, there's there's like little shops around here, right? Uh, it's some of them are sort of shops. Others are seem more like storage. Can I um, can I like buy the gear? Or like some of the gear that some of the people are wearing here. Like? Well, exactly the same, actually. Oh, you mean the the, the okay? Uh, yes, you can uh, talk your way into buying one of those. All right, I will. <clears throat> uh, you can also get a spear and a shield if you want. Yes, I like those too. <laughs> All right. It sets you back about 10 gold. I will uh, detract that from my tongue. Uh, there's a couple of wands of fireball, they say. Like oh, two. Yeah. They're not sure how strong they are, though. Um, there's also a wand of greater invisibility that catches your uh, attention. It definitely looks more expensive than the other ones. So, so literally only like useful shit and not like delay poison or eagle splendor or any of the utility ones uh no but you do see a bunch of scrolls that say utility scrolls all right i would like to <laughs> yeah what uh, what sort of utility scroll do you want all right let's see let's do scrolls kind of like a scroll fly maybe Oh. Actually, I don't, I don't. I don't need a scroll of fire. We've got enough fire. Uh, scroll of glibness would be cool. What's that? Um, glibness. Let's click it. Where the scrolls at? Yeah, it's. I get a plus thirty bonus on bluff checks. Oh, all right, sure. Yeah, yeah it's it's there for some reason. All right. How much I is that shit? It's five hundred twenty-five gold on the thing. I would like to. I would like to um, use an appraise and a haggle to try and knock it down to four fifty. Wait, which which one is it? Uh, Glibness. It's on. Um... Wait, it's that... transmission. Yeah. Wait. No, I'll, I'll I'll send I'll send you the thing. Ooh, interesting. All right. All right. 
Morris might be interesting, interested in borrowing that scroll. They might pay you for it. Just borrowing Why? it for eight hours, maybe. Where did you link it? There. That, that, that's just all the scrolls. Ah. Yeah, Horace, you should probably be making a collection of these. Yeah, dude, know? that's the page I was on, but I couldn't find it. Oh, it's uh, it's in third level. It's in third level arcane. Glim. I, Horus, right. would definitely be interested in this. All right. Yeah, um, I would like one of Glibness, uh, Sculpt Sound, I guess. That sounds interesting. I agree with Mac. We should get back to the city because we have nothing else to do here. Wink. Uh, you can add that. I just okay. roll, a, roll the haggle check. Yeah, so what would that be? Diplomacy? Yeah. Diplomacy. Yay. Yeah, diplomacy and roll. All right, uh, you get about a hundred knocked off. Okay, sweet. For total price. Actually, say, I say I'm not going to take, I'm just going to take just the glibness. All right. So, 425. And horse? I buy nothing. I just want to borrow the scroll from Daryl when he, uh, when we have time. Yeah, sure. Right. I'm just had it. Hand, just hand it back to me before we head to the whatever. Cool. Okay. Yep. Uh, yeah, Manastina, I guess you go with the party then. After Mac told you that there is a place, maybe it's a Pfizer weird crap. Yeah, I would like to um, go to where Ian's shop of <sighs> mythical items used to be, at least. It's the Ian's shop of embellishments. Yes, that. <laughs> All right, uh, let me guys put you on uh i like this map good job on it Th thank thank lots of desert ninjas amazing yeah it could have gone either way <laughs> yeah hmm. yeah but we have dara here so you spend you spend a good amount of time putting together stats for them then yeah <laughs> <laughs> i did not <laughs> so you're just kind of hoping we didn't fucking get ourselves in trouble, I guess. Uh, you 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 have no idea, man, Estina. It's nothing you can smell about people. You know they're lost or not. <laughs> they shine. I would say, I would say, just because they are desert ninjas, they would not be lawful. Like specifically because they're desert. Ninjas. I would say they are neutral. Uh, or neutral evil, or maybe lawful evil. They're, they're they likely chaotic neutral, but... Because you said they're into some, like, shady shit. That makes them automatically chaotic. Chaotic! Da -da -da. Maybe. We'll see. Like, ne neutral evil, chaotic neutral. Yeah, I guess. You guys head towards the district. It's getting a bit later in the day. You're growing hungry, but however... There's enough light left. Uh, this place doesn't seem to sleep. Oh, it doesn't sleep, I can tell you that much. Um, eventually, you reach a, uh, a very fancy looking district. And at this point, Fred, you stand out again in your, you know, lower tier criminal outfit. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You, you, you really have to hold on because earlier on I was hired tier. <laughs> All right. Yes, you can like change on the way as what, you go. What? No, no, no. Seriously, why am I? Because when I was going to the district, I was high tier, and now we get to another district, and now I'm low tier. Yeah, you guys went back to, uh, well, a fancier place where Manistina might be able to sell her crap. Oh, um, right. That's where you are now. Interesting. Okay. Um. I'll take this time to change in my new outfit. Mm -hmm. And I oh. try that again because I can obviously tell it's awful. <laughs> <laughs> and that's acceptable to me. You pass it off just fine. Um, if you want to go and buy more fancier uh, desert 
outfit here in this place. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'd like to shop for some more desert-y looking outfits. All right, the thirty-five gold. You, for the you know, I could probably kind of just change the patterns on your outfit to make you uh, blend in instead of wasting all your money, right? Yeah, what's your point? Well, nothing anymore. Just carry on. Thank you. All right. Yeah, you're fancy. Uh, you're fancy, Krakul uh, Desert City dweller now. <laughs> you eventually know. reach a shop which is painted purple. Uh, you see a big glass window, uh, not something you see in most shops around here, and behind it you see a lot of weird looking items. Um, some of them are studded with gems, and you, mo for the most part you can't even really make out what they're for. No. <laughs> the price tags are, seem a bit through the roof, even for this place uh, or district. Oh, we're the shop again, Brian. Uh, you are at A1, uh, A shop, yeah. We'll do this and oh. then we'll get back to the... Don't worry. Don't worry, yeah. Don't worry Buzz. Don't worry. I am worried though, that's the point. No, it? let me just tell you, don't worry. I can get us wherever <laughs> we need to go to. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, I, I say, we have arrived here. All right, let's go in. Let's go meet Ian. And uh, I, walk, I walk in. All right, uh, you open the door and ding, ding, ding. Uh, welcome to my shop, dear. Oh, is that you, Mac? Oh, Honey, come over here. Eon, my darling. It's been oh, too long. For fuck's what, sake. What happened to you, dear? You're so small. Oh, you know, this and that. It's, it's just part of being an adventurer. It happens. Don't worry about it. Oh, you know, this happened exactly the same as with... What was it? name again Daniel <gasps> he also went this small and you know what happened to him he I... got eaten he got eaten Mac oh no by what what ate him a giant <laughs> trout <laughs> a giant <laughs> trout got him I'm oh, sorry I don't laugh I, I got like <gasps> <gasps> no way Horace laughs oh, and who are your handsome friends enough about Daniel would you, uh, would you guys like to introduce yourself? Especially you, Horace. I think, uh, I think Ian likes oh, you. Oh, my, my. Don't see many of yours, uh, your, your features around here. Uh, well, I bet, I doubt you wouldn't see any of it, <laughs> considering I am covered in roses. And in they're rose? growing out of my body. Yes. Yeah, you, you look fabulous. I thought I'm the only one in the world. At the moment, oh, it looks like this. Absolutely uh, gorgeous. What did you do to get that effect? It's amazing. Come here, girl. I want to have a closer look. I just ate some very, very rare plants. <laughs> All right, so he looks at the plants for a bit and then, ah, yes. Hello. My name is Ian and welcome. Welcome to my little shop, dear. Mm, what the yes, fuck are you doing? Do some work on you, I see. Yes. Mac? Yes. Who is this? Oh, didn't he just introduce himself as Ian? Uh, what you see in front of you is a <laughs> um, a balding gray fellow uh, wearing a very extravagant purple gown with uh, kind of a, a Lady Gaga sort of cowl around his neck. Uh, his hands are covered in rings and his wrists are filled with bracelets of different kinds. He's wearing some sort of weird tentacle around his neck as a as as, as a neck accessory. Oh, man, you know, you can finally sell it. When he tries to touch me or something like that, I make it my goal to run away from him because of his weird tentacle shit. <laughs> All right, I guess you can just run outside. No, I want to listen to their conversation. I just stay away right. from him. Just Brian, <laughs> I approach and I happily shake. Um, Ian's hand. Ah, oh, such a fine hand. Do you moisturize? I do, actually. Pleased to meet you. I'm Frederick. Hanson the third. Ah, oh, 
pleasure to meet you. Likewise. Fancy, fancy a company you keep nowadays, Mac. Mm. Oh, yes. I'm kind of jealous. But I'm here for business. Well, I'm not here for business, but Manastina might have something you, you could be interested in. Yes, I am indeed interested in exotic stuff. You yourself look quite exotic. All right, dear, now show me what you have. Put it on the table. Spread it out. <laughs> <laughs> Just lay it out on the table, baby. Yeah, lay out all the goods. Bend forward a little yeah. bit so daddy can see the goods. She steps behind the counter. <laughs> Just Wait, the wine isn't there Copy anymore. paste it again. Yeah, Dang. the wine's gone. Uh, no problem. <clears throat> Well, 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 what have we here? You've been placed. Mm. That's your go-to line in it. The fair bone one. I'll take it all. Why not? You're friends with Max, so I'm in a generous mood. I'll take it all. Hi. What do you say, girl? Of course, you can always trade for something in the shop, but you can also just pay. What is in this shop exactly? Anything you might need for your desire. Anything at all. Well, assuming they are sexual. <laughs> Do you have a fake mustache? Me? Or it's like as like you ask her as in does she have that as for yeah. sale? Yeah. Yeah, for sale. Uh, what I... about as giant sentient tentacle whip? It's a sex tool, so why not? I don't really have anything magical unless you, again, mean it in the sexual sense. <laughs> but, however, I do have some interesting items, of course. Like mustaches? Takes out, uh, she takes out what appears to be a sword, but it's more like a tentacle on a sword. It flops around. Whoa. Is it literally a dildo sword? Tentacle sword. Um, I cast detect magic. <laughs> it's not magical. Okay. It does what it needs to do. <laughs> her her money is probably the most magical it has. Yeah. His money, sorry. Yeah, well, you don't know. I mean, he might want to be called she. Oh, Brian. Yeah. Can I use my charisma? For what? First charisma check and then get her information. First of what now? Charisma yeah, just... check. Yeah. Uh, you want that. yeah, well what do you wanna say what do you wanna say? What do you wanna do? I wanna here? flirt of course. You yeah. wanna flirt I mean, with Ian. Like right. Charm. It, it, Are you gonna charm it, him? Yeah. Go well, ahead and roll your the flows? That that would be the closest one, yes. Diplomacy? Yeah. See if we can change their stand yeah, <laughs> standing menu. Um, Menacing, uh, she are uh, here replies, well, anything you want, dear. <laughs> can it hang a giant dwarf like a noose? I, I wouldn't say I've tried that, but, you know, some people are into some stuff. Uh, Fred, yeah, it's, uh, Ian, uh, Ian is, uh, what, do, what do you say to flirt with me? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> um, like, um, what does Dara Ian is... look like again? Sorry? What, what does, does Ian, it... what, what does Ian look like again? Ian is like a balding gray fellow, quite lanky, wearing purple gown and a Lady Gaga-like, uh, sort of neck piece. Uh, bracelets rings of the wazoo tentacle around the neck okay then here's what i say well i saw a lot of shiny shit uh reflection <laughs> of uh of the sun but none are as pretty as the dome i'm looking at right now <laughs> you can blush it so what can you tell me around here 
you need to ask <laughs> you need to ask what you want to know not just something random like yeah yeah well i can ask what's going on in general right yes oh yeah of course sure well business has been a bit slow i have to admit but here there are some new people coming to live up further down the street and some say they're into uh, some kinky stuff, so hoping for some new customers. Ooh, la, 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 la. That's pretty much all you can. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. that's how much the thing is. Ian doesn't seem to be into global politics. And, uh, or women. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, yeah, Manastina, Ian is offering to give you uh, two thousand for the for the holy shit collection. And he's gonna sell them for ten k. <laughs> yeah, if you walk by the shops next day, then right. Can I try to sell a underwear I got from I don't know where? <laughs> Ian... Stop fucking selling your underwear, mate. Ian kind of repeats that. I'm um, sorry, there's no market for that here. <laughs> what if I told you? What if I <laughs> told you? Everything I know, you're it's... <laughs> what if I tell you it's from the... Uh... Shit, what was that kingdom called? The Deeps. And it's a magical device created by the Dark Elves to pleasure you. Make a bluff but check. You have to figure out what the word is and it's somewhere around here. You don't want to bluff a merchant. They have fucking high sense mode. <laughs> you can do it. Yeah, and also, what, what are you exactly trying to confuse? God damn it. Wait, why does he have a 21 in bluff? Because I He's am a Malk Invoker. Yeah. He needs it to summon beasts. He uh, he just looks at you and he gives you two silver. Well, I'll take it. <laughs> and he sort of oh. swipes the underwear. He, he, he picks up the underwear between his thumb and his index finger, like really icky-like. And just sort of uh, puts it next to the Oh, uh, you described that too perfectly. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well then, dearies, is there anything else I can do for you? Um, I suppose you don't need, uh, you don't know, um, anything about, uh, uh, Baka, what was it? <laughs> Baka Modaj. Oh, yeah, Baka Modaj. Mm, Paul Huna. Okay, so you... What about an entrance to a secret cave, apparently, somewhere near the ca at the mountains? I wouldn't know anything about that, dear. Yeah. Mm. I only know about other entrances. <laughs> for fuck's sake. Good for you. Now, shall we go find Dara? All right, Ian, dear. Um, we'll uh, we'll come back if we uh, find anything else that might interest you. All right, sweetheart. Do say come and say hi again, and don't get eaten by anything, all right? Of course. It was a pleasure to meet you again. All right. More and more. And um, whilst walking outside, I'll tell Mac, um, hey. I didn't know you were so uh, sexually liberal. Good on you. I, I'm not. Well, that's part <laughs> of being a merchant. What? Gay sex? No. <laughs> you please uh, everyone, not in the sexual way. Wink, wink. Ah. Uh, uh, well, no. Okay. I want to be clear. That's that's how. Dara, you end. went outside to uh, get a drink nearby and then to the spy shop you arrive at the tea shop early before anyone else you see nicholas uh, talking to some guys they seem to be in a bit of a heated conversation yeah do i i guess I'll, I'll listen in all right roll me a listen check all right give me a second da, 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 da. let me bring up my character sheet Clicky, clicky. Kill tab. Listen. Check. There we go. 
I, uh, you understand very quickly that it's about some money that these guys are supposedly owed by, uh, by Nicholas. Nicholas says he already made the payment. Be a misunderstanding of sorts, but guys look pretty threatening. One of them is, uh, like batting a, a wooden club in his head. Oh no, wooden club. Alright, um... Wait, terrifying. Well, not Mac I've heard about him before. Why you could become... What are you mumbling Steven? about? What are you mumbling? Hmm... I would like to, I don't know, like... I would like to, like, scooch over, like... Oh, hey guys, um... Hey, Nicholas, can I get some more tea over here? Like, Nicholas oh, looks over at you. Looks over at you uh, and he says, uh, like, holds up his hand a little bit, like he's busy. Mm. Starts or continues talking to. Him. I say, I I I walk over to like I shot the book and I I walk over and then I shot the book I'm reading very like loudly. Like, is that any way to treat your customers? Who are these rude gentlemen who are? very very painfully interrupting my tea time so why are you so loud this is a place of this is a holy place of the divinity and shit this is uh this is meant to be a happy place why are we shouting what's going on what the fuck is wrong with you <laughs> uh, uh, as soon as you uh, uh snap the book shut yeah. Uh, like they stop the conversation and look back, look at you, and you go on this short rant. Yeah. And the guy who's closest to you, one of the thugs, he sort of <clears throat> bends over to you. He's a bit taller than you. Mm -hmm. he says, I'm six foot. Yeah, he's still taller than okay. you. He's uh, a <laughs> bends he's over. <laughs> he's a pretty large. Yeah, okay. And uh, he goes, "You better sit down over there, Misty." This ain't your business. I say, you all look like the one who needs a seat. Maybe I should, uh... And then it, it should have been followed by some sort of move or spell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was like, you're the one who needs a seat. Come on, my first bar, Dominic person. <laughs> <laughs> Dominic person. Yeah, oh, right, okay, yeah. That's GC19. Um, we'll see. I, I don't think this make that unless he rolls a 20. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't make that. All right, he is now under my command. I say, now, Gregory, <laughs> was that a very good idea to the no. one I've dominated? No. No, it wasn't. I, I would like you to take your friend and go outside. Drag him outside if necessary. I will take my friend and go outside. <clears throat> and he starts grabbing his friend. Hey, hey, what's the matter with you, Billy? <laughs> Wait, what did you do to my... Hey, what did you do to my friend? And he takes out his club and gets ready to bash you. Let's roll I initiative. Think, I'd like to dominate him as well. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you that action before we understand what's going on. Yep. Right. Now, Peter. <laughs> <clears throat> yes. Was that a clever thing to have done? No. 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 Now, I, I got I'd like you that. to stand at the end of the bar. Well, at the end of the, the service table, counter, whatever. It goes there. Like guys to put, put on a little show i got some puppets also in my bag <laughs> right. go to right, the dude. opposite side of the bar and do, are you familiar with punch and judy we are um put on a little show for my friend nicholas here okay they go to the end <laughs> of the bar there and put on a little puppet show which is when the rest of the party enters the shop Wait, are you guys actually going to the spy shop? Yeah, that's where you guys yeah. were meeting up. Yeah, of course. Yeah, all right, cool. You guys see, oh yeah, you see Nicholas standing there pretty baffled. Uh, you also see Dara there with his book in his hand and 
two burly looking fellas uh, putting on a puppet show. Yeah. Oh, Dara, I see you're working your magic here again. Yes, I'm quite persuasive. <laughs> Good job. I, I'm, guessing, I'm guessing at this point, no, no one else in the party knows I know Dominic first. Yeah, that I would. That's a good one. Give me one second. I'm gonna get some, some. Yeah. You're saying? He's gonna get something. Right. He's gonna get I mean, something. I take out my um my poetry compilation called Paloma. It's like a 300 page book or whatever. Um, find myself a nice nook. I say Nicholas some tea if you please. I guess he gets the tea because. Yeah, of course he does. does. Yeah. Uh, what time of day is it? You, you guys want anything? Can I have a couple of grams of spice, please? <laughs> You're gonna have to wait for Nicholas on that. Yeah. Oh, Let's wait for him. I've, for... yeah, I've only just noticed my shelf I, is leaning up. I do have a suggestion for when we do sit down and discuss about what we've learned. Okay, fine. Yeah, I only just noticed that my like my shelf is at a forty-five degree angle, <laughs> like about to tilt, like top of water. How have you just noticed that? Yeah. that like, if you have a shelf at a forty-five degree angle, shit, shit just slides off, right? Well, well, it's not forty-five degrees yet. It's like sixty-five degrees. Yeah, well, I need to tighten that shot. It, it's still pretty fucking crooked. Yeah, no, like I don't look at my shelf a lot. It's all these law books. No, man. clearly you don't. It's all these fucking law books, man. You just put shit up there and and you just look at the ground and like, hmm, why is all that broken shit over there? I must investigate. Hmm. What if it is it's the shell? Where is the weak link here? I guess I have to move the heavier books so they're on the right side. Where's so many more books? I'm back! Yes. I also got some candy. Oh. Oh, this candy is tough to eat when I'm talking. Mm -hmm. Well, Brian, don't worry. You don't have to entice us. You're already fucking us as it is. So, Dara asked for some tea for all of us. We gather around. Well, before he goes, get some tea. And he goes to Dara, of course, or he turns to Dara. And says, dude, not cool, man. That's not going to solve anything. Well, they were kind of pissing me off. Well, sure. I mean, they were pissing me off as well, dude. But come on, man. Can't just go around dominating, bro. Hey, I don't tell you how to run your tea shop. You don't tell me how to be a super powerful bar <laughs> oh, dude you're in my t-shirt bro my rules man i don't tell you how to run it do i all right i'm gonna make up a sign that says no dominating people in my t -shirt. <laughs> he goes off to hang up a sign and then he goes <laughs> down i think he settled that well also horace before he goes what do you want some spice maybe Two golds, I mean, two silvers worth of spice. Coming right up, I guess. Yeah. I, I sigh and I drop the domination enchantment. All right, the guys uh, realize what they're doing and they kind of just scurry out. Yeah. Especially after uh, seeing there's now more people as well, they also look. Can I tell them, bravo, good job, you did an amazing job at that shit. Yeah, yeah bravo. Even as they run past and one of them says, fuck you. 
<laughs> he also, one of them stops at the, at the door and he says, Nicholas will be back, don't forget. No, you won't. And I make an intimidation check. <laughs> I like to intimidate them into never fucking coming back here again. Try it. Alright, skills. Intimidation. It's 22. You're pretty intimidating. He does like sort of <laughs> yelp before disappearing. Squeak! 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 Alright. You got, you drink the tea with the helmet off. All Nicholas, right. um. Yes. Ah, he's just there. <laughs> He's helping some other customers now as well, like calming them down and you know, ensuring them there's nothing. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we know somewhat of the location we need to go to. I have a spell that I used earlier and we can find our way there. So whenever we're ready, I'll cast the spell. Uh -huh. At all, <laughs> all right. Wouldn't it be better to go to the mountains than inside this place? What didn't he say he was near the mountains? Yes, and... why aren't you gonna activate it here? Because the spell shows me the shortest way to the place I want to go to, it doesn't matter where I cast it. Ah, to yourself. Wow. I, I say before we set out, because what time is it in the day, bro? We've done quite a few things. Yeah, yeah it's getting pretty late. It's like uh, almost evening Excellent. now. Excellent. I say we rest up. Yeah. I yeah, guess, me too. I guess we go to the airship to rest? Or do you uh, want to rest in the city? Fuck I mean, no, fuck. Baltimore. Um, that kind of depends. How far away are we from? Our... I we can literally just teleport everyone. Um, how far away are we from uh, the guy that we just met? Harold. Like the balding, the Ian? balding. Yeah. No, Harold. Yeah, Ian. Or Ian. No, Harold. What? No. <laughs> Harold. The, the the guy who had the ninjas around him, or the shopkeeper. Yeah. Okay, so that's Harold. Oh, the guy with the ninja. Uh, he's about an uh, hour and a half or so away. Perfect. <laughs> okay, I guess everyone else goes to the airship except for Fred. That's correct. Then Oshina proposes food first and then airship. Okay, of course. I wouldn't mind sampling the local cuisine. Taurus thinks he's gonna get food poisoning, so he doesn't. He just waits for them because he doesn't actually need to eat, so there's also that. <laughs> there's also that. <laughs> He's paranoid, but also he doesn't you, need to You worry eat. about okay. eating food that might get you food poisoning, but you He doesn't smoke... want diarrhea. Yeah, but you smoke some god knows what weed in yes. some food. <laughs> Okay. For someone who puts all sorts of weird shit in his body, you're very paranoid about eating normal actually, food. I don't want shit That's to be in point, the shitter. Though. Uh, I would like you to roll me a fortitude save first, please. Because <laughs> you did smoke that shit. I thought I already did roll those uh, fortitude and I failed it. Except for the will. That Remember? was the first time. Yeah. You did it just now again. Wait, I did? I yeah, thought I was buying just... a bag. Oh, I, I thought you were like, I didn't buying wanna... to smoke it there. Uh, no, I want to save it for the ship. I want to oh, smoke yeah, okay. it here. No, that's, that's fine. That's fine. You can just. Have it. I mean, you still pay for it. Yeah, two silvers. Um, I um, I uh, I touch Mac on the shoulder and wink him over. I I I look confused. Yeah, that's all right. Confused. Come on. What? Yeah, walk, walk with me. Okay, I'll walk with you. Okay, so what do you know? What do I know about what? <clears throat> well, the money, the safe. Oh, you're talking about Harold's safe? Yeah. I know nothing. I, I don't know where he keeps his money. Uh, I know enough. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Martin, do you agree earlier not to do anything stupid like stealing his money? <laughs> I sure did. <laughs> so you're gonna do that? No. Make a bluff check. <laughs> Ocean's one. Yeah. All right, bluff check. Okay, I believe you. <laughs> How very foolish. Oh, yes. Alright, so, Fred, let's go back to the airship. Uh, no, I'm gonna run around here some little more. You know, just doing nothing. Doing nothing, that sounds suspicious. Are you sure? You're what? up to... Why does... What? Why does I, I... sound suspicious? Because you're a rogue. And you're up What's to no rogue? good. <laughs> I'm not the Prince of Bel Air. Okay. Whatever. Just... Just don't get in trouble, alright? <laughs> of course I won't. Fair enough. That's it for me. Okay. Did everybody leave? No. I assume we're eating while they're eating. Okay, I'll, I'll go to the bathroom. <laughs> powder your nose. No, disguise myself and powder my nose. Oh. Oh. Okay, so are you gonna try to slip out without us noticing? Possibly. I mean, he can just say he's gonna stay for a while. I don't see anything. In the toilet? <laughs> yeah, I mean, behind. Uh, <laughs> hey man, if you want to get himself killed by ninjas, by himself. Yeah, well. yeah, I'm just playing along. You know. Alright. You, you do what you have to do. We eat. We feast. Tonight we feast. Alright, you guys find a nice place to, to have your meal. It's couscous and some other stuff that you don't know. Cornbread. Well, Mac knows this to be uh, camel meat, basically, but it's pretty Ooh. good. <laughs> Do <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, such an ugly animal would be so delicious. It keeps hmm? you alive, but it tastes like shit. I think it doesn't taste off bad. There's also some alligators, uh, some some raw, thinly sliced alligator. Oh, I, I stay away from the raw stuff. Is there what? Because I stay away from the raw stuff. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Cool. You guys have your meal. It's nice. In the meantime, Brian. This is it. We go back to <laughs> go to Fred. Yes, Fred. Um, I throw uh, a rock someplace. Someone doesn't see me. You throw a rock to yeah, a place as, as a diversion. Wait, okay. where are you? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, uh, you don't not... know that. That's the point. No, I would like to know that though. <laughs> Um, I'm I'm just leaving. I'm just leaving the male bedroom. <laughs> you what? I'm leaving the male bedroom. Bed. Why would you need a the, a, uh, a diversion? Uh, fuck, diversion at a restaurant? Wouldn't it be busy or some shit? <laughs> I'm like, just can't you just the fucking glasses. get out of? They would make it more suspicious that there's a rock that came out of nowhere from the bathroom. I was just gonna say that. <laughs> you throw a rock into the general dining area and rock lands there and some people look at it quizzically. I look at the fucking door because why the fuck would someone throw a rock? He's not a very look good at the door. You Fred, don't know uh, where the rock is coming from. But Fred already climbed out through the bathroom window. <laughs> Perfect. This is like some nice <laughs> cartoon shit. It's like, oh, I need a diversion. <laughs> yeah. Fucking bathroom. 
Right, Fred, you're now in the alleyway next to uh, the place where your friends are eating. Perfect. And for the record, uh, let it be known that um, I'm wearing uh, a similar outfit that the bodyguards from the one place were wearing. Make a disguise roll. I just fucking... Okay, oh, is that it? No, no, I'll do it again. Jesus. Hey, new disguise, new roll. There you go. There you go. You're indistinguishable. Sweet. Okay, and I will, I'll go up to the camp. You do that. You arrive. Can you put us on the map, though? I want to see mm -hmm. what he does. Thank you. Yeah, put us all on there. I'll remove the ones down there. No, don't. It goes black. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fuck. Yeah, sorry. Oh, you can drag yourself. I think I can because it's a dark map. Let's see. Oh, never mind. I'll do it then. Thank you. That's not how you select things. There you guys can see, right? Yep. Cool. So, Fred, you arrive there at the bottom. Whee! Um, although it has gotten darker, the people here are still milling about doing stuff. Are there any fires nearby? Any what? Fires? Yeah, just like campfires. You know, just have one. Yeah, you see in the far right corner there's a fire going on. Let's say now that it's gotten darker. Yeah. And how about um, what is the direct entrance to the tent look like? What tent? Are you talking about the tent or the house that the guy was in? Uh, the house, I suppose. The house is directly in front of you, basically at the top of the map behind the fire. Yeah, but what does the pathway in between look like? Pathway in between. You mean around the house? No, I mean directly to the entrance. Just as, as you can see, just there. There. Yeah, I, I didn't know if you maybe move some pieces, I don't know. Oh no, there's still two guards standing in front of there. Um, yeah, other than that, things are just walking around, you know? Yeah, that should be alright. Um, no one's actually paying you any I... attention because you're dressed exactly the same. That's that's the point. Um, where's my thingy? Did I delete you? Yeah, I think you did, Maxim. Is it at the very bottom? Yeah. Oh, right. All right, you get closer to the fountain yeah. and walk up onto the two guys who look at you and nod. Evening, my brothers. Evening. Um, I'll just walk through in a very confident pace. Make a bluff check. This kind of reminds me of the tests Corvus had to go through. <laughs> you do so with confidence, and the guy behind, um, right behind the curtain, he looks at you a bit quizzically and uh, nods at you and asks, Hey, what's up? Oh, um, I'm just here to check up on the uh, rations and supplies. Are you, uh, we're missing we're missing some uh, and uh, there might be some in this tent. <laughs> Make another bluff check. Sorry? Make another bluff check. In before one. Ooh. <clears throat> 
He says, oh, I haven't heard about anything missing, but all right. Suppose that corner over there hasn't been uh, inventorized yet in a while. Indeed. He points towards a corner where, you know, some crates are broken open, but some are still closed. What corner is it exactly? Uh, in the far right corner. Uh, by the way, uh, Mean I Herald is not there. My fucking Christ. Okay, um, I'm gonna make a gather information check. I mean, like, um, the dudes are still around me, right? Mm hmm. They seem to be just guarding this place in general. Yeah, fair enough. Um, but I asked, like, um, I'm here on a, on, on a, a thing check, and I have to report to what's his face. Thing check, you say? What's that? Yeah, on supplies. Hmm. And what's his name again? We've said it like ten times already. You're gonna have. You're on your own here. Yes. <clears throat> Give him at least a letter. <laughs> <laughs> if you're looking at the whisper, I think I literally said uh, mean I something I'm something. I'm looking at it. It's mean I something something, but it still doesn't tell me. Uh, it's mean I herald, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> right. Go on. I have uh, to uh, report directly to to him. So, do you know where he, uh, where he is right now? He's in the business meeting with uh, some other gangs. Yeah. That's gonna be tricky. Um, can you show me the place? Uh, I haven't been around here before. No. I have to guard this place. <laughs> Besides, it's a business meeting between the leaders. No one's supposed to interrupt them. All right, I'm gonna take a piss. <laughs> <laughs> Where? In the fountain? Uh, no, near the tent. <laughs> Go behind the rock. Start yeah. piss. No, no, no and... one really sees you. In the meantime, I'm eavesdropping. Okay. Um, you don't hear much going on in this tent. There's not really, um, like, there's no meeting taking place there if that's what you were looking for. Well, actually, it was. <laughs> well, it's not a meeting place. What are you doing, Buzz? Are you shopping? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, you fucking waste. One of the guys comes back outside. Turns around and spots you. Hey, were you the guy who was supposed to do inventory? Why'd you go? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was me. Well, why'd you leave without taking inventory? Uh, I took inventory. No, you didn't. We pointed you at the crate. You didn't even look. Yeah, I had a general idea. Who did you say sent you again? What? Who did you didn't, say sent you again? Didn't Hank tell you? Who's Hank? Don't Who are you? you? Know Hank? What's your name? I just told you already. Your name is Hank? No. Is your name Hank? Alright, make another bluff. <gasps> yeah, 
Yeah, he, uh, he, he steps closer to you. You get like a 500 bluff, maybe my name is? <laughs> he looks you up and down. Are you new, Hank? Okay, yeah, I'm new. I'm... I know I no, I'm not doing the best of jobs, but I'm newer, okay? Give me a fucking break every now and again. All right. All right. I, under, I understand why. I understand the attitude. It's not easy fitting in with the boys. No, it's not. Listen, I, Hank. And, 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 I, okay, okay. Let me be fair, right? All I want to do is just meet the leader sometime. I know I'm new here, but I want to prove myself. You'll, you'll get your chance, Hank. Don't worry about it, but... But yeah, until but where then, is he? Come prove. on, give the guy a break. Listen I mean... to me, Hank. Hank, stop interrupting. That's the first thing you need to learn. You don't interrupt other people. That's impolite. All right? All right. All right. Now also, Hank, if you want to meet the leader, and I'm sure you will. I mean, can be. Surely. You just have to do what you're told. So if you're told to do inventory, you need to do inventory, Hank. Come on. I'll show you where. Um... Okay, okay. It takes you back inside. You know, bloop, bloop, bloop. Uh, he points you towards the corner where, there are the cr where the crates are. And you see in front of you quite the stash. There's uh, one crate filled with gems. There's... Um, are, you, are you fucking kidding me? Where is there's it? An, uh, there's a, small, a smaller crate that seems to be filled with jewel-encrusted daggers. Oh, and nice curvy shapes and stuff. Not really functional, more like ornamental, but still. Where is it? Hmm? Where is it? It's, it's right there in front of you, basically. There's also a guy next to you, of course. So just gonna... Okay, well, um, I'm in the room, right? Yeah, you're in a room with four other guys in this one corner that you said you were, you were sent to invent. <laughs> Yeah, but where is the corner? It's a, it's the top right, right? Yeah, it's in the top right, basically here. Thank you for placing me there. You're welcome. Um. Okay. Interesting. You also see a ledger next to uh, the pile now. What's on the ledger? Um, I'm Inventory. Down. Hmm? Inventory. Yeah. Yeah, you see yeah. exactly what he has up until the point where someone stopped counting here. Okay. And can you tell me what's interesting on the ledger? You see a plethora of... Uh, plethora? Of, yeah. uh, of different sorts of items. <laughs> you see cloth. You know, bolts of different kinds of silk, but also things like weapons, armor, going through this place. Uh, basically, anything you can think of that could come from Adamantine City up to the southern parts of uh, the kingdom, all kind of ending up here to be distributed or transported further. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try to slide of hand the uh, ledger, or oh, as they say, pickpocket. All right. But before I do that, I'm gonna create a distraction. <laughs> Just throw a rock in the middle of the room. No. Oh. It's even better. I shout, "What's that?" And I. <laughs> All right. Make a bluff check. Jesus Christ. They all look in that direction for a moment and you hide the ledger in your sleeve. Yep, exactly. Oh, well, guys, it, I, I don't know. I, I, I must have been mistaken. Um, You know what? It's enough for tonight. I'm going to take a rest. All right, the newbie got us. Yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow, all right? Oh, you're already done? Oh, okay. Sure. Later, Hank. Yeah. yeah. Then the other guy saying, yeah, later, Hank. We'll see you. Ah, oh, that's a classic Hank, I know. 
and I and I wave for the other guys tonight and I blow them and kiss. They grab their spears. That looks very strange. <laughs> All right, you leave. Okay, and I uh, join the rest. Cool. Uh, you all go back to the airship or what? Yeah, uh, I'm definitely going back to the airship. Cool. How Poof. far? Oh. Sorry? Oh, I was just going to ask how how far away from the airship and how many hours would it take? Yeah, about two hours or so. Can I just teleport everyone? Yes, you can. Okay. I think Mech can as well. Hmm? Well, Mac, teleported. I teleported everyone. Yeah, of course. Yay. Yeah. Yay. You're on the airship. Yay. It's getting late. Yay. I guess I borrowed Dyrus' uh, glibness thing and I spent time with it. All right. You spent, you borrowed the glibness and you spent time with it. It sounds a bit wrong. Go ahead and uh, roll your check thing. I'm just rolling for shits and giggles. I know I can never fail anything below uh, level 5 or some shit. Yep, that, that works. Why don't I finish? I just take a nap. Is what you guys hear. All right. Oh, it's time to sleep. Really. Y'all rest up for the night? Yeah, and I'm also quite surprised that I'm uh, on a ship all of a sudden. No, you're not. You're not with us. Yeah, that's Chet, why you went I'm back surprised. to see the other. Hey. Fred? Yeah. You said you were going back to the others, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I was surprised that I was teleported there. Yeah, that's true. You walked back. Uh, so okay. he went back when uh, we were leaving, I suppose, when we were done eating. Yeah, you're like, where the fuck's Fred? Oh, well. He'll find his way. Ah, uh, I'm there for shit to do. <laughs> I guess <laughs> Mac teleported him. Because sure. I can only teleport four people. Sure. <laughs> so, fine with that. next morning. What's the plan? I guess Mac is going to uh, do his path thing. Yeah, oh, we and can I give go, that back a scroll. We can go closer to the mountains before I cast it. I wonder what kind of bullshit I can do with a plus 50 bluff. <laughs> um, I'll show Mac the ledger. Okay, I look at it. It's a ledger. It is also, you know, in the front there's a carved into the leather property of Harold. I shake my head and face palm. I did it! <sighs> Been rogy. Good job. I say sarcastically. Thank you. Thank you very much. You didn't get caught at least. That's... that's good. Oh wait, this shit's only for bards. Damn it. Ah, <laughs> uh, I didn't learn it, I guess. Matters do <laughs> yeah, yes. we've been good. Anyway, I guess we walk up to the a general a general um, area where we think the um, the cave is, and I cast find the path, not bath, path, <laughs> and it shows Stop me that. exactly um, the location of the cave and how to get into it 
Mm. Un sec. <clears throat> Instead of like uh, trying to study for the thing I couldn't study in the first place, I just get high. Fuck it. Roll fortitude. <laughs> You eventually reach a um, an open spot next to. Uh... Wait, wait, what? Hold on. When do you? Uh... At night. Sorry, if you're talking to me, I did it no. at night. No, not uh, Mac. Yes. What do you want? To when know? do you cast? Uh, when we are wherever we think the cave might have been. Oh, right, okay. So you guys, like, lift off and then... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sure, you take the ship with you. <coughs> and there's not really a place to put your ship down here. The river is quite rough. Uh, it would take your ship just down river. Um, yeah, you could hover it, I suppose. <coughs> Power and to get off... As... This. Go on. Could also try and place it in the sand, of course. <laughs> then, then it's gonna be like a scene from the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, Caribbean, where a uh, grabs just steal our ship. In fact, when you get to that destination and you cast that spell, Mac, uh, you are pointed towards an open spot in the desert, not too far off from the river. And you get the feeling it's straight down. Okay. Dara, our leader. Dara! We can't hear you. No. Oh. Dara. Dara! Did he get sucked into a void? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> God damn it, John. What? What? Hi. 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 Jesus Christ. Are you awake? Yes. Do you know where are you we sure? are? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys went up the river towards the foot of the mountains. Okay. Where Mac casted uh, Find the Path. It, he gets the sensation that uh, it's right underneath you guys now, at uh, a few hundred feet away from the river in an open spot of desert. Yeah. What do we do, our mighty leader? Right, I think the best way to scope it out first. Matt, um, not Matt, Horus, have you got well, Mac as well? Have you got, guys got any like, scr like scrying or divining spells? Mm, I believe yeah. our druid our friend guy. is the one who does that. Yeah, and I can send my stewards there. I have six of them. <laughs> All right. For shits and giggles, I put my eyes on them. Chain of eyes, baby! No, I just sent one. I don't want to lose them all. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I put chain of eyes on one okay. as well. Can can I can you make me like a, a offhand mundane telescope? <coughs> um Sure, yeah. It's not that close. I mean so you can also ask the scout to go there. I mean we want to see if there's anything on the ground first before we land, much less. It looks like sand. Oh yeah, you can test Looks me. like sand, feels like sand. Sandy dunes right below you, nothing special. It's a mimic! Uh, who, has, who has the best spot check between us? That would be the skull. I hand you the telescope. Can you see anything in the other one there? Uh, yeah, sure. I can uh, check it out. You get oh. a plus 9000 on your spot? No. Whoa. Whoa, dude. It's over 
you notice uh, some some sand in a particular pattern rumbling off the sides of the sand dunes. You know, before coming to a stop again. Okay. Is there anything weird about that? Well, you mean except for sand that's moving on its so, own? No, no, no. Nothing unusual otherwise, but there is something underneath the sand, probably. I test the wind. Is there, is there much wind? Um, there is some wind here. I wouldn't call it much. Though. Well, en enough to cause like normal sand dune movement. Um. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so that could be nothing, or it could be something underneath the sun. Basically, yeah, if you're waiting for an answer. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, we could just go there. My spell will lead us there without any trouble. All right, um, <laughs> I say don't, we don't, we leave the airship in the air. Well, actually, do we have enough, do we have enough um, battery left to hover it for a few hours? Um, yeah, no, for sure. Easily. As Horus. Yes. Yeah, Horus, do we have enough fuel? Yeah. Horus? They have upgraded their fucking fuel so we don't have to keep changing it. So, yes. I, I, tell, I'll, I tell Gilly to keep the engine running and keep it in the air just above. I leave five it, stewards yeah. with Gilly. Yeah. yeah, if anything attacks the airship or if there's any like serious danger, um, she, she's to fly back towards Krakul that says, yeah, we'll find our own way back. What? And leave us a bit? It's better, like, we can't control the airship. If something crazy happens, like if the dragon attacks the airship, I would rather the airship and, like, be safe and away from us and we'll find our way back on foot than lose the airship while we're not around. What would you prefer? Losing the airship and being ha having to walk or having to walk and not losing it? Aren't we on a, another continent? No. We're right still in the same desert. Yeah. Below can we, can we just... we're, we're here. We're here at Krakow Desert Cities, let's say like maybe like a week, like a few days. Travel through the desert. Uh, By what? Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Something like that. Uh, we'll assume Lidith is with us. She can produce water, and I've got endless food. Yeah, I can do that too. <laughs> yeah. I can produce water as well. Good job. Yeah, I never need yeah. to eat. Right, that's yeah. the thing. We've got food, water, and shelter. Yeah, we're fine. Man, is the only one eating normal food? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, 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 that's not true. I eat normal food. We, we've, got right. food we've got food, water, and shelter. Worst case scenario, even if the airship has to retreat because something crazy happens, we don't, oh, so we can make it back. Right. Way, my mark is there, so I can teleport four of us there anyway, so. Exactly. It's fine. Either I give, I give Gilly the express instructions to leave the engine running, um, if anything goes crazy, or if the battery gets low enough, not to touch down here, but to go back to Krakul. Either way, um, yeah, um, I get onto my carpet of flying. Who else needs a car? Who else needs uh, to get on? The sure, I'll wait. Can uh, um, Manastina and Fred fly? There's like room for one more person there. I think I, I, I think I also had a broomstick of flying at some point. Oh, it's Maynard. We found it in the uh, the uh, Dargo yeah. Mountains. Sweet. All right. Um. Well, I'm gonna well, get on my carpet. Uh. I I can cut. Yeah. He can. She can only fly, meditate slightly, and if she falls, she she'll fall hard because she's in heavy armor. Mac, you can fly, right? I can just or drop can... a ladder from the ship and you know climb down. <laughs> well, we're not we're not whistled. We're we're not touching down. Though. Okay. We're how still... high are we then? I don't know, like a good... <laughs> I know. <laughs> Five. <laughs> Almost 100 feet off It's now. fine. Oh, I can cast air walk. I can just walk down. It's fine. Yeah, walk down. Cool. Alright, you'll just easily come down. Yeah, and I can fly for shit, so I, uh, I'll join on the car. Oh, actually, actually my, um, Horace, you can cast fly, right? Mm-hmm. Is there yeah. like a light bulb? <laughs> a what? Do we have like a light bulb? Oh, the, when when you cast fly, do you cast it on yourself or you, you cast it on a thing? You can only cast it uh, on myself. Oh. Yeah, on living things. Uh, that's a point. Um, I, I use my phone stone real quick. 
Hello. Hello. Uh, Wait, let me. Who we got here? Uh, it's 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 Zara. Remember me? Oh, hey, Zara. Nice to speak to you again. How's it going? Uh, not bad. We're currently on a quest to round up some of the ancient heroes. The airship uh, you've you've been provided is extremely useful. As useful. How how's things over there? How's things at the Arcanium? Oh, things are crazy. We're putting up the old, uh, the old Calvin up to some work, so he'll be busy. Either way, uh, yeah, we've been getting some orders. I think uh, the Arcanium is no longer a college, more like a workshop. That's not fantastic, but, uh, I guess. Ah, oh, don't worry. I still intend to and, uh, to offer my assistance to all the in students enrolled at the moment. Okay, um, all right. Just, just can, can, can you can you get Greasebeer to make a note? Just real quick with the airships. Can you right. program like lifeboats, like flying lifeboats? Right. right. I think that's that would be a good idea. Just saying. Just, just put a pin in it. Just bring it up with the next time you see him. All right. Anything else? Um, could you get one of those flying lifeboats? Like, if he does manage to make one, could you get one ready? I'll I'll arrange the payment later. All right. Perhaps I should give him a phone stone. That would be a good idea, actually. Why, why aren't you producing those? those? Those are fucking useful. Do you have any idea how incredibly rare the material is? Yes, exactly. That's why it's an extremely lucrative business. He hangs up. <laughs> <laughs> Question. <laughs> I dropped the phone stone. I was like, okay, I, I just commissioned... Um, some lifeboats for us later. I have a question. Since yeah. Lydith isn't here, can't we just ask her to fly us down like out of character? No. No? no? Uh, I, I get we can't my, ask her uh, to turn uh, into an eagle and just... Yeah, it's fine. You can use... You guys can... You can. Just, you will have enough means to safely get down. Yeah, let's do that. Let's Even just... if you just bungee jump and then cut the cord when you're just below. Or... <laughs> Well, I know. I'd ask Mac for um, some kind of um, slow descent rainbow. You can jump on my shoulders. I'll walk you down. <laughs> <laughs> he can jump on your shoulders. You're tiny. <laughs> and um, cool. Hop on Mac's shoulders. I do. You can't do that. I'm I'm like one feet and like three inches tall. Oh, also, question: If you're if also if you're tiny. Wouldn't it take you fucking ages to walk down at a 45 degree angle? <laughs> no, my, my movement speed stays the same. Okay, that's fine then. So you should How... so you're tiny and fucking fast. Okay? Yeah, it's like fucking sonic. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's actually, that, that is physically retarded. Um... <laughs> Alright, uh, we touched down on the sand. I tell Mac to um, figure out where we're going from now. I don't need to figure out anything. I know where we're going. You just need to right. follow me. Yeah, lead the way. I am. Let's go. I, I am Master Dwarf. I'm right behind you. You guys take about uh, 10 steps in, into the sand. And uh, a lot of sand around you now starts to rumble. And in front, out from the sand, giant creature bursts. Pew! It's purple. Oh, and it's a worm-like creature. It's a purple worm. It's anime. Can we try to reason with it? <laughs> I would like to acknowledge what it is. <laughs> you can, but let's... Uh... Well, we can do that now. Fuck it. But we what? won't start combat until next time. Is what I was... uh, let's what do, it. do I roll? A knowledge nature. Uh, no, knowledge arcane, actually. You know that it's a purple worm. They can Wait, sense before you tell me. Sorry, 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 sorry. I pressed the. I made the wrong fucking thing. It's not nineteen. Uh, What's the it's one? eleven. That's still, still good enough. Okay. Still enough to know it's a purple worm. It can burrow and yeah. it can swim and it can sense people above ground when they're underground. It has particularly nasty uh, attacks, like it can grab you and swallow you and stuff. It also uh, has a nasty bite and a sting that is poisonous. I've seen one of these before. 
Watch out for the stinger. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Shiloh. Can we write it like in uh, that book? Shit, how was that book? Dune. Yes, thank you, Buzz. Yeah, Dune. Well, yeah. It, it, it wasn't a stretch, but you're welcome. Right. So, this is... Uh... So, there's a purple worm in the sun. Yes. There is. Can we get past it? Is it guarding an entrance? Well, it's going to attack for sure. Oh but we'll get to it. Uh, we'll get to that next session, guys. No, but I can't play next session. Oh no. Yeah, it's true. Well, I don't think you're going to be able to pocket them anyway. Yeah, you don't know that. <laughs> it doesn't have Let's any say pockets. it's your luck that you won't be there next session. Wow. Goodbye, yeah, Tom's mom. <laughs> Yeah, goodbye, goodbye Tom's mom. Bye, Tom's mom. Yeah, we'll, we'll actually just start a little bit later, man. Most people can actually be there. The most we can get. Yeah.